been a whirlwind of a month for Matt Polkamp. Just 11 days ago, he played in his last game as a BGSU Falcon. Six days after that, the walleye signed him, and two days later, he scored his very first goal as a pro. Tim McMahon met up with the fast-tracking forward earlier today and has more on his story. In the span of one week, Matt Polkamp went from playing in the WCHA championship game with the Bowling Green State University Falcons to debuting at the Huntington Center with the Toledo Walleye. And not only that, he scored his first career professional goal in only his second game. We I mean, felt pretty special to go into my second game, uh, take some weight off your shoulders, not wait to maybe fourth, fifth, sixth game. To go into my second game uh, makes it a lot easier, it takes pressure off, and uh, just play my game from now on. The goal was a capper on a whirlwind seven-day span, which began with Matt scoring his final goal as a Falcon in BG's heartbreaking title game loss to Michigan Tech, then saw him sign with the walleye only a few days later. Coming here, I mean, kind of take the sadness away, kind of mean, I'm excited to play for a new team. Uh, I heard the people here are great, fantastic organization, and uh, obviously it's super close. The team's doing fantastic in first place, so to come here and learn from the guys here and just to play some extra hockey is a great fit for me. Did you get a chance to actually come up here as a fan and see them throughout the season? I've been for a couple of games over the years. A couple of other BG guys have played for the Wall Lake a few games. So I've came here, I've seen the rink, you know, I've seen how they operate, and it's, uh, I really like it here. The feeling is mutual from Walleye head coach Dan Watson. Right now he fits perfect with our team in terms of having that defined role of a third line guy for us right now. Uh, I can't wait to get him on a penalty kill this weekend and get him some more ice to see what he can actually do. And, and I thought he started off nicely his pro career. What are some similarities between Coach Bergeron and Coach Watson? Uh, they really focus on the process and the day to day. You got to be good every single day to get better. There's no taking any days off. And uh, I love that approach to the game because you're playing great throughout the week and practice you're going to transition to the games. One thing we like about grabbing guys from Bowling Green is we trust their program. We trust the coaching staff there to have their guys ready for pro hockey. So when Matt's name came up, uh, it was a quick phone call to Coach Bergeron, uh, who stamped him and said he can play. He can play pro hockey, and and uh, you know he can do that. He's getting pucks out on the walls. He's, he's very, very reliable and responsible, and that's why he's a great fit right now. Pole camp found a friend in Toledo with Charlie O'Connor a forward out of Bemidji State who debuted and scored his first goal the same weekend as Matt. Yeah, O'Connor is a real nice guy. We're kind of like going through this to get together, uh, coming to a new team right after our season's ended. So it's kind of just nice to have him there and have somebody to talk to and we're go through the whole process together with. His playing days with BG are over, but Matt won't graduate from the university until May, which creates a hectic daily schedule for the 23-year-old. I have an 8 a.m. class I go to and I'd come up here and drive to practice and then I'll go back home, uh, maybe go eat, take a nap, and I have night classes too. So it's still a busy schedule, but I like it. Keep me busy. I like it. I also spoke with Matt about the differences in the game between the collegiate and professional levels. He says it's a lot faster out there on the ice and the guys are a little bit sharper, but overall, it's the same beast once you lace him up and step foot in the rink. And so far, Matt is excelling with the walleye just as he did with the Falcons. From Tam O'Shanter, I'm Tim McMahon.